Today's challenge, can I tell the difference between these four rums? There's two really expensive rums here and two cheaper rums. Now the two cheaper rums should be well under $50, while the two expensive rums should be well over $100. Now I've got absolutely no idea what these rums are. I just know that I donated 35 pounds for samples. Apparently I might have a couple of rums behind the bar, but there's at least two that I definitely haven't got. So rum number one, there's a lot of vanilla and the other big note I get off this is like hazelnut. Really does remind me of like a frangelico liqueur. That's how I kind of distinguish between like nutty aromas. I kind of work in liqueur. So amaretto would be almonds kind of vibe. But this is definitely frangelico. So hazelnut. There's also other things going on here. There's, I do get a little subtle hint of coffee in the back there. It's definitely vanilla in there. Probably a little bit of dried fruit as well. But if you really linger with that aroma, there's a little touch of smoke. But... For me, definitely hazelnut forward. Wow, that's quite delicious on there. Um, it's not giving me a vibe of being longer aged. It's not giving me a vibe of ABV. There's a, like a, a spice tannin-y vibe that would hint to me that it has been in contact with wood for a lot of years. But actually, the actual taste doesn't give me the vibe that it's longer aged. Does that hazelnut carry forward to the taste? slightly there is a bit of nuttiness too there and i would definitely go more frangelico so hazelnut liqueur vibe on there there's vanilla there's a little bit of caramel that's actually really delicious i really like that the only thing that would slightly put me off in for long time viewers you know i don't like longer age rums that it, there is this sort of spice that's gripping the side of my the tongue and all that and it's like while this is rum forward you know this is not wood forward this is not whiskey forward or anything like that this is run forward for me. It's still got a little bit too much wood bite to it. Face value, look, I don't know what's coming here. I mean, that that could genuinely go in either direction at the moment. Um, that that is really nice. My initial impressions would be it's maybe a little bit too thin to be a really expensive run. I'm gonna hold hold off judgment just for a second. Now, number two, after a good glug of water. Let's have a little smell. Whoa, there is way more going on here. Cor, where do you start with this? There's so much going on with this. Tropical fruit, wood, vanilla, spice. Caramelness comes forward. There's a little bit of, yeah, there's a little bit of banana-iness coming forward in here. And I'm going to add a little bit of chocolate. Now, wow, that's, that's all over the shop, which would traditionally hint at a lot. A bit of, well, yeah, a little bit longer aging, but maybe different barrel finishes. That's what that would hint to me. I don't think you're getting all off all that off one barrel. First thing, stronger. So and then a giveaway clue for this would be, you know, a higher ABV is going to be more towards barrel proof and barrel proof then comes, is, is this barrel proof? I'm not overly convinced it's up in the 50s or 60s or high 50s but you know you would expect barrel proof to be a lot more expensive it's a lovely rum now here, here's the contradiction here for me does this give me the vibe that this is longer aged no because nothing's gripping i've got spice but there's the wood's not overbearing i would say that one's a lot more longer aged than what this one this one is this again has got lots of different layers going on You've got tropical fruit, you've got vanilla, you've got chocolate, you've got that wood, that oakiness coming through. But you know, as it finishes, you've got this like spice and actually going into, I'm going to say coffee, but mocky. You'd probably go like chocolate, like mocha, chocolate coffee kind of vibe. There's so many layers to that. But it, it, it is undoubtedly a lot stronger than what that is. Oh, that's tough. I can't judge which one's more expensive at the moment. You know, at face value, I'd say this one's a lot better quality than what that is. But out of the two, which one am I drinking neat? This one. It's just something in this. I This has got to be, it has to be a, a double. Oh, no, because it could be a blend. I was going to say this has to be double aged. 
like one barrel in moved into another barrel. But it could all like light bulbs. It could also be like a blend of different rums going on. Um, there is definitely one more than one barrel at play in there. That there, there has to be. You do not get all those flavors from one barrel, one like matured aging. That's really delicious. I face value you'd have to say that's a lot more expensive than what that is but that one tastes longer aged oh i don't know i don't know right number three on the nose it smells really good on the nose um let the hint of nuttiness again but you've got this tropical notes you've got vanilla notes you've got a little bit wood oaky notes coming off there is this like i keep saying acetone i, I don't know whether that would translate but like alcoholic kind of vibe going on to it but probably it is a little bit of chocolate in there but as you really deep dive into that you get that acetone kind of vibe that comes off there get rid of that that's actually smells really good oh wow oh that's oh, that, that's been in the barrel way too long for me oh, oh that's heavily aged oh I, I, I just do not do heavily aged rums. Um, word for it. Oh, there, there, oh, there is some flavours coming off there, but I'm, I'm, I just pick out wet, soggy words. And, oh, that, that's not enjoyable. That, 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 that's not good. If you're a rum lover, why why would you? I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but why, why would you enjoy that? That has to be a longer aged rum. It has to be. Why would you enjoy that? Those two are much better than what that is. Okay, let's try and let's try and dissect what's going on here. That there isn't an alcohol, yeah, going on to this. Um, there is tropical fruits in more towards like a a passion fruity mango kind of vibe, pineapple kind of vibe. There's your there's your wood. There's a lot of words. There's a vanilla, but not as in like a, a valanin sweet kind of thing. You get that vanilla note that you would do get off longer aging. There's an oak, there's, there's a little bit of spiciness coming off that. Do you know what, as that finishes, it's a little touch of like bitter orange and and kind of chocolate off there. It's like orange bitters. Like if I put orange bitters on the pot and done that, that, that's there on the finish. That's just way too heavily aged for me. That right. So now we're getting somewhere because that has to be a lot more aged than what they are. And typically in rum worlds, although we know there are some exceptions, is that strong? It's not, that's not as strong as those two. That, that, it, ABV wise, that's, that's actually quite mellow, but heavily aged, you would expect to pay a little bit more for heavily aged rum. And that for me... Bearing in mind, they aren't sweet, so I'm not expecting much sugar, if any sugar, to be added to those to mask aging. So I'm putting all three of these on a level playing field, field at the moment. That has to be the longer aged one out of the lot. Um, without much going on, that that's definitely got to be an expensive one so far. But oh, why? I don't understand why you'd buy that over the second one. Straight away. I mean, if they're both the same price, it's going to be a bit of a funny, you know, you're going to be laughing at the other end of the video. But if that's a cheap one and that's an expensive one, then why would you buy that? That's all. Oh. No. Rum should taste of rum, not wood. Right, number four. Number four definitely smells sweeter. Um, We've got woody vibes going on. There's tropical fruit vibes going on here. Actually, I'm going to retract that. I'm... Probably the fruitiness really hit me, but I, I think I'd probably actually sit more on dry fruit, Christmas cake fruit, like that, that sort of vibe off there. There is vanilla, caramel, that honey. Honey really jumps out at me now, actually, after a couple of seconds and probably fades into chocolate. Um, Again, that would hint to me that that's maybe been in a barrel a little bit longer. But it does smell a little bit sweet. Well, that's the sweetest one out of the lot. That's a lot sweeter than any of those. Um, I wouldn't say excessively sweet. I pull. 
I haven't got the bench, but I mean, it's it's excessively sweet compared to those three. Um, I, I that might be lulling me into a false sense of security. Is it Diplomatico sweet? I don't know, but it's all right. It's a lot sweet. It's a lot sweeter than those. A, a lot, lot sweeter. Like double, if not treble, the sweetness of what anything there is. There's actually not a lot going on with this. Um, I, w I wouldn't say it's overly sweet. I'm just like I want to clarify this. Look, it's sweet. It's a lot sweeter than those. A, a hell of a lot sweeter than those. But I've got to sneak it. If I had like a diplomatico here. I wouldn't. I would half suspect that to be a bit sweeter than what this is. Um, Plantation XO is kind of like the benchmark, and that's like 20, 20 grams. I would say this has got to be a lot sweeter than what that is at twenty grams. Um, this is just a straight down the line caramel, vanilla, honey notes. Is there much fruit coming off there? Not too much. It's absolutely because of that sweetness. There's absolutely nothing gripping my tongue. Uh, Woody, oh, this this is really tough, really tough. So look, it's decision time, um, and I've got to I've got to pick the two sweet ones. Oh, sorry, the two uh, cheap ones and the two expensive ones. This this has to be a cheap one. It has to be a cheap one. That's just there is no way in the world that that is over fifty dollars. No way. That's just. It's nothing going on with that at all. That's just like, yeah, yeah, it's right. Um, that's more like an Abuelo to me. You know, I think even probably Abuelo 12's got more to it than what that is. That, that, yeah, I'm not, I'm, that's just like, yeah, that, that has to be a cheap one. It has to be a cheap one. So cheap that side. Right. The next cheap one. Do you know what? This is really hard now because this to me, tastes like it's got a little bit of aging to it it ain't remotely close to being as old as what that one is that is that's just like soggy wood you know so that's that um that's got a lot more character a lot more i would i would pay right here's right i think this is how i'm going to classify it. it's not whether uh, i can pick the cheap or the more expensive it's what i would pay and that's that right so I'm going to put that one down with the cheap one as well. Um, and, and these two are the expensive ones. Now, <laughs> the caveat here is because is that is that the one? Yeah, I I would not pay. I would not pay for that at all. That would be I wouldn't if that got served up to me as a neat sipper in a glass. I wouldn't even finish it. That is that is just nasty. Uh, I do not understand the whole long aging of, especially rum. If you're a rum lover, you have to enjoy rum as rum. The, the, you know, when rum ceases to become rum, and you know, and it becomes more wet, soggy words and more like whiskey notes and more sort of acetone alcohol, that that there's nothing that that ain't right. That really ain't right. Rum should taste of rum. That doesn't taste of rum, but that tastes to me like it's been a barrel flipping long time, way too much time. And, and I might have been stitched up here, completely stitched up here. But my favourite out of all these four is that one. That's the one I would pay. Would I pay? It's got the ABV, it's got the kick, it's got the finish, it's got the journey. Compared to those two, that that has to be more expensive than those two. It has to be. Um, that's just a better quality rum. That's just a phenomenal rum. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm going to sit that. My two cheap rums. And my two expensive rums. You, you've well, you've seen the brands up there. You might have a handle on prices. I will have edited in the uh, the brands up there. Um, I, I don't know whether you've got the handle on the prices, but we'll we'll we shall see. Right, let's uh, let's open my email attachment. So here we go. I've got to get my head around this. The two expensive ones are number three and number four. I can't see number. 
What? Wow. So num number four. Num wow. Holy hell. Number four is Ron Zacapa XO, which which is a, a lot more than a hundred dollars. Wow. Well, it equates to a, a lot more than a hundred dollars in the U in the UK. That's a, that shocks me. So I put that down as a cheap one. Is that no? That is not worth. That is not worth the money there. Um, and then number three is Appleton. Oh, that has to be that one. It has to be. Is that number three? Yeah. Oh, so I've got that one right at least. So that's an expensive one. So this one's. A, hang on. What number is this? Two. Wow. That's that's black top. 46.2% ABV. Wow, that's that punches. That punches well up there. That's a really delicious rum. And this is, and I obviously got this one right in number one. I, oh, Florida, Florida County 18. I so said that's interesting. So eight, 18 years old. 18, we put we put in there. There's, there's no disrespect to Floyd Carnia, but there's all these stories. We don't know whether it's 18 years old or an average of 18 years old or or whatever it is. But considering that, if, if you take that at face value, that that's 18 years old, and I think Floyd Carnia is minimal sugar, if any sugar, and that's 21, you know, for an extra three years, that, that ain't even remotely close to being that age. Remotely close. So... Wow, so I, I wouldn't say I failed miserably, but, you know, 50, 50, 50, 50 percent, is that, is that a good outcome for this? That's nasty. Uh, Appleton 21, well, no. Why? Look, if you, if you want to drink that, just go and, just go and chop down a tree, put some water on it, let it, like, get it soaky and just. Yeah, just munch your way through a, like a soggy bark of wood. That no, I'm not enjoying that. Did it? Well, here's an interesting. What if I even picked that as Jamaican rum? No. That no acetone. That that's not an enjoyable experience for me. So I I've paid for that sample, and so the the bottles that I've got uh I must have I've got black tar and Florida Carnia behind me. Black tar will be. Black top be up there somewhere. And Florida Kine is right down the end there. But Appleton 21 and Ron Zacapa X XO are the two that I've paid for and obviously been decanted into those. Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy any of those. <laughs> stick, stick. Oh, no, that, that one. Stick to the Florida Kine. Uh, sorry, stick to the Black Top. There, there you go. That's my record. That's a bargain. Oh, yeah. Black Top all day long over that. 